A-level physics man. I have such a love-hate relationship with it. I've always loved and enjoyed physics. I got a 9 in GCSE physics and I wanted to pursue some sort of engineering degree at uni, so I felt it was natural that I take physics for A-level. But the first couple of weeks, they really made me question that decision. Like a lot of people in my class, the content that was being taught in the first couple of weeks just didn't make sense to us. Only in the first couple of weeks, I was seeing people drop the subject left, right and center, which caused me to have some doubts about taking it as well. But I pushed through and I ended up getting an A at AS and I'm currently predicted an A star for A level. But it wasn't easy, which is why I'm going to share four reasons why you should not take A level physics. Now, the first reason why you should probably not take A level physics is it's quite hard. Think about it. Physics as a degree in uni is always looked at as the hardest degree you could get. And since A levels are pretty much a prequel to uni, they have to get you ready for uni. So if A level physics has to get you ready for the hardest degree at uni, do you think it's going to be a walk in the park like A-level business, for example? If you're not willing to take on the challenges that will come with studying A-level physics, like just staring at questions for hours on end, trying to understand what it's asking, or sitting in class confused, trying to understand a concept that a teacher themselves may not even understand, or frequently getting 50 or 60% of the marks on a test. If you can't take on these challenges, then stay away from physics. But if you're willing to take on these challenges, then go ahead and take it. And now the second reason why you should probably stay away from physics. It will humble you. And if not, it will shatter your confidence. Physics is always known as one of the subjects that most of the smart people take, right? So don't be surprised if you go into your physics class and it's filled with pretty much all of the smart people in your year group. Well, this is a good thing and also a bad thing. It's a good thing because you could probably use it as some healthy competition. If you don't understand a question or a topic, then I'm sure they'll help you and so on. But having a bunch of smart people in your class could also be a bad thing. You know that feeling you get when you get a really high mark on a test? You look around, you ask people what they get. Everyone says that they got lower than you. And so your ego is just through the roof. You go home, you tell your parents, you tell your friends. In my opinion, that's one of the best feelings. But if you take physics, you're going to have to kiss it goodbye. Let's say even if you get a high mark on a test, you're probably going to go around the class asking people what they got. Then there's always going to be that one guy who got probably 10 marks higher than you. But then you ask him and for some reason he's disappointed. Physics A-level is a humbling subject and I'm speaking from experience. So if you want to preserve your ego, stay away from it. Take business or something. But if not, it might be the subject for you. If you've liked the video so far, then can you just do me a favor? Hit the like button so other people can benefit from it as well. Now, another reason why you shouldn't take A-level physics is that they make the papers unnecessarily hard. Now, I'm speaking specifically about AQA because that's the exam board I did, but I'm sure that the other exam boards are not that much different. Like I said before, the content that's being taught in physics is already hard enough. But man, when it comes to the papers, it's just a different level for some reason. I remember once I was randomly speaking to an economics teacher in my school about physics. He asked me about my AS physics exam that I did in year 12. I'm like, yeah, I did pretty well. I got an A, alhamdulillah. And then he goes, what are the grade boundaries? So then I told him that for last year, the grade boundaries for an A were 55%. This man was shocked. And then he goes, so you could pretty much walk into a physics exam, not knowing pretty much half of the questions and still get the top grade. And I was like... You know, that's a good point. For some reason, they make the physics exams really hard. Sometimes they're worded weirdly. Sometimes the mark scheme is extremely strict for no reason, but they're always hard. But to be fair, they do compensate for how hard the tests are by making the grade boundaries extremely low, like 55%, for example. However, that doesn't change the fact that the papers will probably get you on the verge of tears numerous times. But if you're fine with that, go ahead and take physics A-level. And now the final reason why you should probably not take physics A-level is that maybe you're just not set out for it. Now, I'm not saying maybe you're too dumb, you're not smart enough or something like that. I'm just saying maybe the whole style of physics is not for you. Physics involves a lot of problem solving, a lot of understanding complicated ideas. Maybe in subjects like biology, you could memorize enough to get you past most of the questions. But in physics, it's more application. You need to know how you're going to apply the knowledge that you have. If you want to get the top grade in physics, you need to have the ability of understanding all the concepts taught in physics A-level in a detailed way. And it's not really a creative subject like art either. You know yourself best. If you know that you're not really the greatest when it comes to problem solving or understanding complicated ideas, then maybe stay away from physics. However, if you think you're set out for it and the previous reasons did not scare you away, then you officially have my approval of taking physics.